A lot of people will tell you that trading is a game of probabilities. But the question is, what that really means? Well, in calculated gambling we have games like blackjack where counting cards is a strategy used to track the ratio of high cards to low cards left in the deck. Players assign values to each card type and adjust their count as cards are shown. This way they are gaining insight into the probabilities of receiving favorable cards. This knowledge helps them make better betting decisions which increase their chances of winning. So clearly games like blackjack are based on probabilities. It's because the deck has a finite number of cards and the more of them is shown to the player, the better one can assess the probabilities of what's left in the deck. So what would be the equivalent of the deck of cards in trading game? Well, one way to do this is to use prominent reference points like yesterday's close, high, low. We can also use market profile to gauge value area high, value area low, or the point of control. Then we can create a simple program which will go through the historical data and we will ask it to show us the probabilities of certain events occurring between our prominent reference points. For example, I can ask what is the probability that after market gaps up, the gap will be closed. Or, if we open inside of the previous session's range, what is the probability that price will touch yesterday's point of control during current session? And obviously current session has a finite number of time in which these events can occur, just like the finite deck of cards in the blackjack. There is no limit to what questions we may ask, obviously. But what we are looking for is the sets of events which have either a high probability of occurring or very low probability of occurring. When the reference point has high level of probability, it simply means that there is a high chance for the price to hit it. When on the other hand our reference point has low probability of happening, it means price is unlikely to hit it. So once the trading session starts, the dealer at blackjack table becomes the market price, which will gradually uncover the cards in the deck. And this is where magic happens. When price hits our reference points, the probabilities for other price points will start to change. For example, in certain defined conditions like if market opened inside of yesterday's range, the probability for the price to hit yesterday's high is a bit less than 50%, same as with the previous day's low. But once price hits previous day's high, the probability for the market to revisit yesterday's low drops to less than 20%, and now we have a first clue of the odds in our favor. Of course, it doesn't make it reasonable to simply go and buy the market just because of this one event, even though it has very low probability of occurring. What we want to see is more of these probabilities stacking close to each other. So let's say that the market starts to trade lower and after first hour of session we get the initial balance levels in place. And one of the probabilities which we learned, thanks to our historical analysis, says that it is very unlikely that the market will drop lower than the double of the range of initial balance. So now we have two low probability reference points stocked close to each other. And once price retraces to this area, where it is very highly unlikely that the market will drop further, we want to bet simply because the odds of these two events are in our favor. Once we are in a trade, we can easily define the risk, which is basically using stop loss below these reference points. As to target, we will now use reference points which haven't been hit yet, but still have high probability of occurring. And that is basically trading with probabilities, pretty much resembles games like blackjack, so I created this simple program at which you throw a couple years of data. It's exported from the Sierra chart. 
and it will spit out probabilities based on many different reference points. Um, once I have these probabilities, I feed them to TradingView study, um, which simply counts cards in real time, so to speak. So when trading session starts, I can see all the reference points and their probabilities. And as the dealer or the market rather starts to hit our reference points, it will automatically change the probabilities and even color the levels accordingly to what is to be expected. So that's in short how I approach to this subject. Uh, you can go and build your own list of probabilities and test it out in your strategies and I promise you that it's very helpful. Or if you want you can also use my work, so the TradingView study, Python script and data for different markets. Um, it will be available by the end of this February. Um, but as usual, I limit the number of users uh, at the early stage simply because my, you know, uh, small capabilities of providing support for a larger group of people. Um, so there are 44 spots in this press sale. Um, will it be offered after all the spots are taken? I don't know yet. Same as with my Sierra Chart Ninja Trader option studies. I'm not sure if this is going to be available for broader user base. Um, we'll see. Uh, the group seems to be strong and we are using it on a daily basis. Um, anyway, so if you like my approach to calculated gambling in trading, then you can find a link below this video, which will lead you to my website and you can subscribe to get the deal on the press sale uh, now. So thank you and see you in the next one. Cheers.